Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. My co-host Brody is currently having his lunch right now, so he'll be back in a minute to give some play-by-play. -play, but he's down in the uh, stands getting some hot dogs and some um, beverages and some ice cream and whatnot. So I'm sure he'll be back soon. But until then, I'll take over the reins myself. So all right, so uh, it's. April 30th, as you can see here, it's the last day um, in this stat pack. And actually, this is stat pack uh, number two, not number three. Um, so this is the second... Actually, wait a second. No, this is the first stat pack, because this will be through four weeks of the season. The first two weeks were included in the actual season. And then the next two, um, which I'm just about to finish right... The next one, which covers two weeks, which is... Four weeks total. And there he is. There he comes back here. Oh, he's still eating, eating his lunch there. <laughs> Say hi, Brody. Make sure you chew your food well, okay? Are you listening? We're recording now. Say hi to Al. Say hi to the guys. Say hi, Brody. All right, so Brody's saying hi to you guys. Say hi. There he is. Okay. All righty. So when he's ready, he'll take his seat right now. But he's right now, he's... uh. Finishing up his uh, lunch there. Is that a good lunch, Brody? Is that a good lunch? Huh? Yeah, I guess it was a good lunch. You didn't share any with me. How come you didn't share any lunch with me? I share my lunch with you. <laughs> anyway, alrighty. So as you can see, this is the... Uh, there was one more team that I hadn't covered um, yet. And that was the Toronto Blue Jays. So this is the last team um, that I had to get pictures for. So I decided to feature them. Although they're not doing so well. But, uh, you know, Chris Roger is pitching for Tampa. And Tampa is doing pretty well. So um, at least one of the two teams is good. But I'll be man managing Toronto, which will be a challenge. As they did not get off to a good start. And uh, I even noticed too when I was getting the pictures that they had tons of pitchers spots uh, available. So they definitely... Uh, gone through some pitchers and their hitters overall other than Justin Smoke at first base the all-star are really not hitting that well Donaldson isn't hit, isn't doing that well um, and neither is Batista really overall still got some power numbers but they're average wise they are way down average is down anyway so without further ado let's get the game underway so after the, after today um, we'll be doing a uh, downloading the next step pack so I'll try to do a recap of the season uh, thus far um, before I download that, just so you guys can uh, get an idea of how players are doing. You kind of do as you go along, but um, I'll give like a summary of the, at least the league leaders and stuff like that and see how they're doing compared to their actual stats. All right. Brody and his co-host seat there. He's getting ready to call the game. Ready, Brody, to call the game? All right, he's raring to go. Play ball. Sorry, as you can see, the groundskeepers are getting the... Uh, Toronto Stadium ready there. I'm trying to think what it's called. <laughs> it's not Sky Dome anymore. Rogers Center, I think it's still called. Rogers Center. One of the few that still do not have a uh, sponsorship through a major company, I think. Not too many of them. Most of them have, uh, Fenway doesn't either, and there are a few others, but most of them have some kind of corporate sponsorship. So it's nice to see one that doesn't. Um, so, all right, so Matt Latos will take the mound for the Blue Jays. He's got it in the actual season. He had an ERA of 3.27 with no record. He's only pitched 11 innings. So he's had two no decisions so far. And in the replay, he's had two decisions. He, one and one with an ERA of 2.57. So he's... Fared a little bit better in the uh, uh, replay of the season. 
So, all right. So, the Tampa Bay Rays lineup is as follows. Brad Miller will lead it off and play second base. The DH today is Shane Peterson. Batting third, the left fielder, Corey Dickerson, who is an all-star. Batting cleanup will be Steven Souza, the right fielder. Batting fifth will be Logan Morrison, the first baseman. The shortstop, Tim Beckham, bats sixth. Kevin Kiermaier is the center fielder and will bat seventh. The veteran, Evan Longoria, will play third base and bat all the way down to eighth. And batting ninth behind the plate, Asus Sucre. So, all right, so that's your lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay comes into the season with a 10 and 15 record. They would get hotter later on. Um, and they are challenging the Red Sox and the Yankees for first place right now. They're a couple games out, maybe three, three or four games out. Toronto Blue Jays are not doing so well. Um, although here they're 11 and 13. So, that is it. So, all right, so let's get this game underway. Brad Miller leads it off. Only hit 227 with a homer and 10 runs batted in the actual season. And after today's games, we'll... So these are basically pretty much, uh, you know, even in stats. The simulated and the real life are approximately the same amount of games and that bats and everything. He's had a few more at-bats in this simulation, but he's hitting 253 with... Two homers and nine runs batted in, so he's had a little bit, little bit more power. Well, not really. This is one, pretty much an even. So all right, so he'll lead it off. So they need a 6:31 to get on. And he'll strike out to start the game. So Leto strikes out Miller. That'll bring up Shane Peterson, DH today. He's hitting 222 with a homer and an RBI. He hit 270 with a homer and six runs batted in the actual season. So 660 and above will get him on against Latos. And he's going to have himself a single to right. Bautista throws it back in. So one out single for Peterson. Bring up Corey Dickerson. real life he was 330 with six homers and 10 runs batted in so a lot of pop and a good average in the replay he's doing even better hitting 351 with 12 homers and set 29 runs batted in wow so Corey Dickerson has doubled his home run total already he was already having an awesome season and he's doing even better in this replay Let's see what he can do here 602 and above will get him on 946 and above will He'll hit a home run as he's got 12 of them so far. And this time he's going to deep fly ball to left, pierces at the wall, and he makes the catch at the wall. So not this time. So two down now for Steven Souza. The right field is hitting 303 with two homers and eight runs batted in so far in the replay. And hit 330 with four homers and 17 runs batted in. Toronto, I mean, uh, Tampa's got some good hitters this year. They're definitely performing far and above their potential. So 602 and above will keep the inning going. And it's going to be a shallow pop to second, way up there, and Travis will call it and make the catch. So that's it. No runs, one hit, one man left on base. So after a half inning, Tampa Bay nothing, and Blue Jays coming up. They'll have a tough task ahead of them as they had Chris Archer on the mound. He's got a record of 2-3 and three in the simulation with an ERA of 4.05, so great numbers. Definitely better than last year. And in the actual season, 2-1 and one record with a 3.43 ERA. So Darwin Barney will lead it off for the Blue Jays. be the third baseman. Batting second would be Jose Bautista, the right fielder. Batting third with Kevin Pillar, the center fielder. The all-star Justin Smoke will bat cleanup. He's probably the Blue Jays' best hitter this year. Batting fifth will be the catcher Russell Martin. 
batting six, the left fielder Steve Pierce. Troy Tillerwiski will be the veteran shortstop, will bat seventh. Brian Goins, the DH today, bats eighth. And Devin Travis, the second baseman, will bat ninth. So that's your Blue Jays lineup. So Barney comes into the game. In the actual season, he had 292 with five runs batted in. 263 with a homer and three runs batted in, in the replay. So 692 and above will get him on. And it's going to be a fly, shallow fly ball to right. Souza will squeeze it for the out. One down. All right, Jose Bautista up now, the veteran. Struggling mightily so far, average-wise. Hitting only 195 in the replay. And has yet to hit a home run. Wow. And 82 at-bats. So he's definitely struggling in the replay with six runs batted in. The actual season, he was even worse. 178 average with just a home run and an RBI. So... Struggling in the replay and struggling in the actual season. So Bautista only a 717 and above to get on. You can see why the Blue Jays struggling this year. One of their main hitters is having issues. And with getting rid of Encarnacion, I'm sure it did not help either. As they don't have his protection they used to. So Kevin Pilar up now. Two down and the base is empty. He hit 301 in their actual season with four homers and eight runs batted in. So he's only hitting 244 in the replay with 10 runs batted in. Yet to hit a home run. So 683 and above will get him on. And strike three. Pilar was fooled by that one. So he's strike three looking. And that'll do it for the Blue Jays. They go in order in the first. So after one full, it's no score. Logan Morrison, the first baseman. It'll be Morrison, Beckham, Beckham, and uh, Kiermaier for the Blue uh, for the Tampa Bay Rays. And Morrison is hitting 273. Oh, Mr. Brody's getting up there. He's gonna go check the records in the back, see if uh, see what see if there's any information on the uh, any of the players. He's hitting 273 and get himself a drink with four homers and 14 runs batted in. And he hit 244 with five homers and 14 runs batted in the actual season. So Atos looks in for the sign. Here's the windup in a pitch. 642 and above will get Morrison on. And it's going to be a double to right field. So Batista gets the ball in, but not before Morrison ends up on second with a leadoff double. Tim Beckin, the shortstop, up now. Hitting 272 in the actual season with four homers and eight runs batted in. And struggling. In the replay, I think only 233, but power numbers are there. Four homers and 11 runs batted in. So let's see what he can do. See if he can get the run home and put the raise on the board. 689 and above will get him on. And a. And that will definitely get the run home as it's way out of here to left field. So he pulled that one. And Beckham puts the raise on top. Two to nothing. A two run home run. Mr. Brody missed that one. Can you get in your booth there, Mr. Brody? There we go. We need, we need you in the booth here. The Brody is pretty active today. He's quite happy. His uh, his favorite restaurant and gardener, the Paramount. Um, they're back from vacation, so he was able to get his treats today. So he's very happy about that. He had been missing them for two weeks, so I had to give him extra treats. <laughs> Kevin Kiermaier up now. Center field is hitting 253 with a homer, nine runs batted in, in the replay, and then hit. Just 210 with a homer and three runs batted in in the actual season. So a 696 and above. We get him on. Raise up now two to nothing. And it's going to be a hard line drive to left. Long run for Pierce and he jumps and makes the catch. So a great catch by Pierce for the first out of the second. Brings up the veteran Edwin Longoria. He's been struggling so far in the actual season. 208 average with four homers and 13 runs batted in. 
hitting just 231 with four homers and 11 runs better than in the replay. So 705 and above will get Longoria on. And he'll walk. So first walk of the day issued by Latos. Brings up catcher Sue Sucre. Hitting 292 with a homer and five runs batted in the replay. And hit exact it's hitting the same exact thing, 292 with a homer and seven runs batted in. So he's got two more runs batted in the actual season, but everything else matches up. So 677 and above will continue the inning. I'll continue the inning anyway. And it's gonna be a double to straightaway center field. It's gonna hit the gap though. Splits the fielders, and Sucre has a double. So Longoria will hold, hold up at third. So runners on second and third of a one out for Brad Miller, top of the order. He is 0 for 1. And it's going to be a ground ball to short. Tuliski ranges to his right and throws the smoke for the out. So Longoria will score from third. So an RBI ground out. For Miller and Sucre will advance to third. So 3 0 now, Rays. Brings up Shane Peterson, the DH. He's one for one on the day. Three runs already in, and he will strike out. Call third strike. Peterson didn't like that call, but it looked look, look good from up here. <laughs> So 3 0 going into the bottom of the second. Smoke Martin and Pierce up for the Jays. The All Star Smoke uh, is hitting 273 of the four homers and 12 runs batted in at this point in the season. And so far in simulation, hitting 259 with three homers and 11 runs batted in. So 701 and above will get him on. And it's going to be a ground ball to second. Miller fields it, throws it to Morrison for the out. So one down here in the J second. Brings up Russell Martin. Hitting just 175 in the replay with two homers and six runs batted in. And hit 219 with three homers and five runs batted in the actual season. 672 and above will get him on. And it's gonna be a fly ball to right. As soon as it squeezes it for the out. So two down now. Steve Pierce, left fielder, hit just 167 with an RBI national season and hit only 150, sitting only 154 in the replay with no homers and three runs batted. So pretty darn close. A lot of very accurate stats here, which is one reason I like this game. Definitely statistically has a good engine, seems to. Oh, what happened there? All right, so he's Pierce up now with two down, nobody on base. And he is going to do a, hit a dribble in front of the catcher. Sue Gray fields it, throws it to Morrison for the out. So no runs, no hits, and nobody left on base. So after two full, it's the Rays three and the Blue Jays nothing. So Dickerson leads it off, 0 for 1 in the day. And he'll strike out, swing and a miss on some high cheese. Not the kind of cheese Sousa likes. I mean, uh, Dickerson likes. So Sousa up now, 0 for 1 in the day. And shallow pop to short. Tulitsky runs it down for the second out of the inning. And I'll bring up Logan Morrison. He's 1 for 1 with a run scored. It's going to be a shallow fly ball to center. Pilar drifts to his left and makes the catch. And that'll do it for the Rays here in the third. The score remains Tampa 3 and Toronto nothing. Tulowitzki, Goins, and Travis up for the Jays. Veteran Tulowitzki is hitting just 162, struggling mightily with no homers and five runs batted in in the actual in replay. And he hit much better in the actual season, 263 with a homer and 10 runs batted in. See if we can get back on track here. So, uh, no. And 
call third strike. So told if he is grabbing some pine now. Brian Gorn's up now. DH today. He's hitting just 200 in the actual season with a home and four runs batted in. Wow, but in the replay, he's smoking it. He's hitting 375 with four runs batted in, so definitely hitting for a high average early on. Very much better in the replay. So 710 and above will get him on. And he continues his hot hitting as he gets a single to right. So a one-out single. And I'll bring up Devin Travis, number nine hitter. In 204 with a homer and seven runs batted in, in the replay. And hit just 130 in the actual season with a homer and four runs batted in. So it's going to be a sweeping curve, shallow fly ball to left, Dickerson is there and makes the catch. So that'll do it for the Jays in the second. They do get a single, but the first hit of the day, but are unable to score. And it's 3 0. Oh, actually, no, what happened there? Oh, okay, I guess that's only the second out. <laughs> My bad. Let's see what uh, Barney can do. 292 hitter. Chop up out of center. Now it's the third out. No runs, one hit, and one man left on base. So we head to the top of the fourth. Beckham, Kiermaier, and Longoria up for the Rays. Rays and the Jays. So he had a two run home run his first time up to give the Raise a 2 0 lead at the time. To go back to back, he'll need a 962 and above. Oh, I thought it was going to be there for a second, but it's a single. So he's got a second hit of the day. So Beckham's on first. Kiermaier coming up, nobody out. Kiermaier's 0 for 1 in the day. And he'll hit a. Shallow fly ball to center. Paul squeezes it for the out. So one down. And the Longoria walked and scored his first time up. And he'll strike out swinging. Two down now. And the Rays fourth. So Gray up now. One for one. And he hits a line drive to center. And Pilar is there and makes the catch. So that'll do it for the Rays in the top of the fourth. So through three and a half, it's the Rays three and the Jays nothing. Jose Bautista will lead it off for the, the Jays. He's 0 for 1 in the day. Make that 0 for 2 as he grounds out to short. Pilar up now, he's also up for one. And it's going to be a fly ball to right. Suze is there and he makes the catch. So Archer is cruising along. Justin Smoke up now, 0 for one. And it's going to be a hot shot to Miller, line drive, and he makes the catch. So the Jays go in order in the fourth and after. Four full, trail it by three. Top of the order, Miller up now for the Rays. He's 0 for 2 with an RBI. RBI ground out, I believe it was. And it's going to be a dribble in front of the plate. Martin has it and throws the smoke for the out. So score that at 2 3. Bring up Shane Peterson, 1 for 2 on the day. And he'll draw a one out walk. So Corey Dixon coming to the plate now. He's 0 for 2 in the day. And this could be 2. Soccer on Bell the first. Uh, it looks like it's going to be too slow for the turn 2. So Smoke will take it himself and hustle to the first for the out. 
Peterson advances to second on the fielder's choice. So Steven Sue's up now. 0 for 2 on the day. We're in scoring position. And he's going to have himself a double to left. It's going to go in the corner. Peterson will score from second. And the Rays lead at 4 to nothing. So an RBI double for Steven Souza. Increases the Rays lead to 4. Logan Morrison up now. 1 for 2 with an RBI. And it's going to be a hot shot to left. Hard line drive to left. And it's caught. So Peter Pierce had him played perfectly, and that'll do it for the Rays. But they do score a one, and after halfway through the game, they lead it four to nothing. Chris Archer back on the hill. Jays a minute just one hit against him through four innings. So Russell Martin will lead it off. He's 0 for 1 on the day. And it's going to be a line drive to first. Hard ground ball, sorry. Morrison fields it and steps on the bag for the out. So, score that one three, three unassisted. Brings up Steve Pierce. He's 0 for 1 in the day. And this is going to be a deep fly ball to center. Is it going to go? No. Kiermaier runs it down. Pierce is out. So, great running catch for Kiermaier. So, two down and nobody on base for Tulowitzki now. 0 for 1 in a day. And he will strike out swinging. So, Tulowitzki strikes out, I believe, again. And there's his second strikeout. Three strikeouts now for Archer. Be Beckham, Kiermaier, and Longoria for the race here in the top of the sixth. Two for two for his Beckham. Homer and single. A couple RBIs. And finally going to get him. Line drive the short. Until Witzke catches it for the out. So he's retired for the first time today. Kiermaier up now 0 for 2. And he will strike out. Swinging. So 5Ks on the day now for Latos. Brings up Longoria. For one with a walk and a run scored. And it's going to be a drill boy to second. Travis has it, throws the smoke for the out. And that'll do it for the raise in the sixth. So we head to the bottom of the sixth. The Jays need to get something going as they managed only one hit so far off of, they only had one base runner off of Archer. So Goins up now. He's the one who has the hit. See what he can do here. And nope, this time he strikes out. Archer painted the black with that one. So it's fourth K of the day. Brings up Devin Travis. Let's see what he can do. And it's gonna be a deep fly ball to center. Kiermaier runs it down, and Travis is out for the second out of the inning. It'll bring up the third baseman, Barney. Pull for two in the day. Man, it's swinging and missing. He's down and strike. So five Ks now for Archer through six. And we played six full. And it's the Rays four and the Jays nada. Mr. Brody is being put to sleep by the Jays offense. <laughs> Sucre up now. One for two on the day. And bare hand throw by Barney. And ooh, he throws it. Oh, Barney will throw it away. And it's going to be a two base error. So Sucre will advance the second on the error by Barney. And that's going to be it for Latos. lefty-lefty. We're definitely gonna put a lefty in. <laughs> Computer doesn't always break them up. They'll, they'll put like a bunch of lefties together a lot. I noticed that. Okay. So we 
are going to find a lefty here. Okay, we got a bunch of lefties here. Maybe. No, he's tired. Possibly JP Howell, but he's been struggling. Looks like it's going to be JP Howell. He's the only one we got. 20 in Nationals. He's in a 1-1 record. He's actually doing pretty good in the replay. He's pitched two innings. Has not allowed an earned run yet, so we'll put him in. J.P. Howe will come in to pitch for the Rays. Jays. Latos is done for the day. He's up on the hook for the loss as the Jays offense has been anemic so far. So he'll face Brad Miller. He's 0 for 3 with an RBI. 599 and above will get Miller on. And a leadoff walk. So leadoff runner is on for the Rays in the top of the seventh. Brings up Shane Peterson, one for two with a walk and a run scored. 613 and above will get him on. And it's going to be a soccer round ball the first. Smoke flips to the pitcher covering, and Peterson is out. Miller advances to second. Dickerson up now, 0 for 3 on the day. 575 and above will get him on base against Howell. And it's going to be a shallow pop up to third. Barney calls for it and makes the catch. So two down now. Brings up Steven Souza, 1 for 3 with an RBI. And he'll have a single to the left. And Sucre will hold. Just where he's got to get himself comfortable here. Not quite, almost time for the seventh inning stretch, Mr. Brody. One more out. He's already he's doing an early seventh inning stretch here. Logan Morrison. 592 and above. Oh, actually, hold on there. What happened there? I missed something there. Just paying attention to Mr. Brody there. So Morrison, uh, smoking fastball, solo on the catcher. Martin Fields at me. Hold on, here we go. All right, enter the game. Ba -da -da. Shallow fly ball to the left. It's going to be in front. Oh, so it fell in front of Pierce. Okay, so. So Souza was able to get a single there. Two runners will score. Okay. All right. So I missed that. My bad. Now a 6 nothing lead. So the Rays have opened it up now. So Chris Archer is still back out there. Pitching six virtually perfect innings. Only allowed the one hit. To Lucas D'Souza. So Batista is 0 for 2 on the day. And he'll get us only the second Jays hit of the day. Lead off single here in the seventh. Jay's got their work cut out for them as they're down by six. Mr. Brody is not happy with the Jay's offense here. And the first two runners are on, so this is the best the Jays have been today. They get the first two runners on. First runner, I believe, in scoring position. So it means that Dustin Smoke. Jays fans will love it if you smoke one out of here now and cut the lead in half. And he's got a single, so single to center. That will, you know, looks like Bartista's going to come around the score. And the Jays are on the board. And the RBI single by Smoke. Brings up Russell Martin. See if he can keep the line moving. And Mus Russell gets a hold of one here, just like that. It's a 6-4 to four game. Wow. So the Jays were doing nothing off for of Archer until the 7th, and now they only trail it by 2. So if it wasn't for that single in the... I mean, the, yeah, by Sucre in the 7th, those runs are really big now for the Rays. And the gap has been closed to 6-4. to four. So we have a ball game here, folks. Call the presses, Mr. Brody. We have a ball game. <laughs> Mr. Brody's still not impressed yet. Archer's still back out there. Looks like they're going to leave him in. 
Steve Pierce. Two in the day. And he's got a single, so five straight hits off of Archer. Tulowitzki coming up now, see if he can keep it going. Representing the tying run. I never thought I'd be saying that in this game. And he's got a hit. Wow. So Archer has totally fallen apart. No. Still nobody out. So runners on first and second. Goins up to the plate. Blue Jays have, I mean, Rays have action in the pen, but Sucre goes out and talks to Archer, but the manager still hasn't come out yet. I don't know what's going on here. So Ryan Goins up now. He's got the only, he had the only hit, I think, going into this inning. And this will be the, pops it out to Beckham and for the first out of the inning. So Devin Travis up now. Hope for two on the day. And this is going to be a hot shot to right. It, could it go? No. We're going to tag up from second line on 85% chance, yeah. Pierce will tag and go to third. So now pass ball will get a run home, make it a one-run game or a ball pitch. So Darwin Barney up now. It's 0 for 3 on the day. It's going to be a slow roller to second base. Easy play for Miller. He throws to Morrison for the out. But the, Ray, the Blue Jays finally, bats finally awake. Sparked by a three-run home run by Russell Martin. And we have a ball game here. Only two runs separate the two teams now. Okay, so we're going to definitely get rid of Howell here. We got a righty, lefty, and a righty. So we'll probably bring a righty in for the pen. Okay, we're gonna bring in him. He hasn't pitched yet. So Danny Barnes will come in. He's got to get four innings in by the end of the day. So get him a couple maybe here. Danny Barnes comes in. He's not pitched yet this season. He'll be on for the Jays, trying to keep it a two-run game. Beckham up now, two for three with a homer, two runs batted in. Here at the top of the eighth. And a hot shot to Tulowitzki. And he makes the catch for the out. So one down. Kiermaier up now, 0 for three. And he'll walk. So when I walk, brings up Evan Longoria, 0 for 2 with a walk. And a run scored. One out base runner. And it's going to be a shot to Travis. Can they turn two? Oh, he drops the ball. He drops it on the transfer, trying to hurry it up to get the double play. And that could, could prove costly as Sucre is up now. Last time he was up, he had an RBI double, which is the difference in the game right now. RBI single, two RBI single, which is a two-run single. I'll get it right one of these times. Which is the only reason the Rays are on top right now. Didn't seem like it was important at the time, but it appears to be huge now. And he'll strike out this time. So Barnes strikes him out. We get two down now. So Brad Miller up now, 0 for 3 in the day. Does have an RBI and a run scored. And it's going to be a dribbler. Shall Shallow pop up the short. Two whiskeys there, makes the catch. So we head to the bottom of the eighth. With the Toronto only down by two now. Batista will lead it off. He got it started last inning. By the single. And he's going to have another single here. So it's the second hit of the day for Bautista. And the Blue Jays are in business. Kevin Pilar up now. Walked and scored on the home run by Martin. And it's going to be a hot sh deep fly ball to right. Could it go? Oh, it makes the catch right up against the wall. So that one almost went. That would have tied it. Instead, it's a, it's a long out. Pick up Justin Smoke, one for three with an RBI. Run scored. 
And it's going to be a hard line drive to short. Beckham jumps and makes a leaping catch. Could have saved extra, possibly saved extra bases on that one. And Russell Martin, who had a big three-run home run in the seventh. In the last inning. And he'll draw a walk, so... Danny Farquhar on now for the Rays. He's tired. Now Tommy Hunter will come in. Even though they made a choice there. So 25 ERA, four innings pitched, and 108 in the actual season goal on record. So Steve Pierce up now, one for three in the day. Representing the go-ahead run. And he's gonna have a single to left. This could score, it's gonna score at least one, I would think. And great, and Sucre can't ha make the tag in time. Batista scores. Martin moves to third, and Pierce moves to second on the throw. So the only one run now separates the two teams. The go-ahead run at, at second base for Tolowitzki. Can he? Can he score? Can he get a key hit here? The clutch hit. It's one for three on the day. So a 7.92 and above will. And a wicked slider line drive. Dixon can't get there in time, and one run will come in. Pierce will score from second, and the Blue Jays have called all the way behind from a 6-0 deficit to take the lead 7-6. Wow. Fans are going crazy. Let's come. Coins up now. And he'll uh, hard run ball to third. Oh, and it's... It's in and out of Longoria's gloves. So get scored an E5, and the inning continues. Travis up now, 0 for 2 on the day. And hot shot to short. Great pick up by Beckham, plants his feet, throws to Morrison for the final out. But the Blue Jays score 3, and we head to the top of the ninth with the Jays up 7 to 6. So the Jays are going to bring in their closer, Osuna. Sooner than later. Wow, Mr. Brody continues to sleep through this Jays offense. I cannot believe it. So Sooner is going to come in, close it out, try to close it out for the Jays. Never thought we would be seeing this today. So Roberto Asuna is only 22 years old. Seems like he's been around forever. He's got a had a one more record with three saves, 5.62 in the actual season. Feeling much better in the replay. He's pitched five innings and has not allowed an earned run with a one no record and two saves. So he'll have to face Peterson, Dickerson, and Souza. Heart of the Jays order, I mean the Rays order. So he's 667 and above. Peterson will be out. One for three on the day with a walk and a run scored. Uh, it's going to be a 545, which is a fly ball to right. Bartista makes the catch for the first out. Corey Dickerson up now. Has not taken part in the offense today. He's hitting 0 for 4 on the day. 622 and above will get him on base, though. Oh, and it's going to be a double to straightaway center field. So a one out double. Tying runs in scoring position. Steven Souza is 2 for 4 in the day with three runs batted in. Martin goes out to talk to Ozuna. Ozuna gives the nod. Back on the mound. Here we go. So Dixon takes his lead off second. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Got three RBIs on the day for Souza. Can he make it a fourth? And he does. He goes yard down. Steven Souza, 3 for 5 on the day with five runs batted in. Will give the Rays back the lead. Toronto fans are not happy with that. So Cena gets a blown save. One for four for Morrison. He's up now. Wow, still only one out. And it's going to be a ground ball. The second Travis throws smoke for the out. Wow, what a turn of events here. Definitely some late innings heroics by both teams here. He dives, gets back up, and throws smoke for the out. So we head to the bottom of the ninth. The, the Jays down by one. Can they come back? Barney, Bartista, and Pilar. So 
So the J's closer, the Ray's closer, Cologne comes in. 3-6 ERA, 1-1 one one record. No saves. And no saves here. Well, actually, that's not him. <laughs> that's one thing, too. They don't always catch up here. So he's 0-2 with five saves in the actual season with three ERA. And the replay, he's done much better. Five saves and no, has not allowed to earn run yet. So the Jays have their work cut out for them. Barney's 0 for 4 in the day. And he'll himself as a leadoff single, so a good start for the inning for the Jays. Brings up Bautista. He's definitely not having fun. So he'll need a 693 and above to get on. And it's going to be a fly ball. Hard line drive to right, long run. Sousa reaches out and makes a catch. So that definitely saved extra bases. And probably would have tied it up. So we have one down now. Or Kevin Pilar is over through the walk. 678 and above will get him on. And it's going to be a stock run ball to short. Can they turn two? No. Barney was off on the pitch. So he is in scoring position now. Representing the tying run. For Justin Smoke, the guy you want to have a 1 for 4 with an RBI. So a 778 and above will most likely tie the game. Set 982 and above will give the Jays a walk off win. So what's it going to be? 700 and below, and the Jays are going home. After a heart, that would be a heartbreaking. And it's going to be a ground ball the first. Morrison Fields it steps on the bag for the out. And the Jays, who came back all the way from six runs down to take the lead. The fans are not happy with this as they blow it in the top of the ninth. Wow. What a turn of events here. <laughs> as the Blue Jays fall to the Rays by a score of 8-7. to seven. Make it official. We don't want to, but Jays fans do not want to make that one official. Mr. Brody slept through it all. Wow, still hard to believe. What an exciting game, though. Another exciting game for Digital Diamond Baseball. I'm really loving this game. All right, let's check the box score. Chris Archer, seven innings pitch, six hits allowed, four runs. All of them earned, one walk, five strikeouts. Hunter gets the win, pitching just one third of an inning. Despite lining up a run, Alex Colon gets the save, six of the season. Latos, six, six innings, five runs, four of them earned, two walks, five strikeouts. And Asuna gets the loss, surrendering a two run home run to Tim Beckham. Is it Beckham? No. Is it Souza? Souza, Souza, Steven Souza, that's right. Steven Souza gets the player of the game, three for five with five runs batted in. 319 average now. Souza Beckham also went yard. And Russell Martin hit a three run home run for the Jays to get them on them. Four runs. So that is it as the Blue Jays' valiant comeback is stifled in the end as the Jay Rays score two runs in the top of the ninth and Alex Colomb closes it out. Wow. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it today. So we'll, what we're going to do after this is uh, probably I might do a short video on maybe a 10, 15 minute video on the stats up until April 30th. And then we'll load, download the new stat pack and start again for the next two weeks of the season. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming and my co-host, Mr. Brody, signing off from Gardner, Massachusetts. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye, Brody. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Brody saying bye. Say bye, Al. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, Brody.